Hi everyone. Good evening. It's awesome to be up here on stage. Hi Joey. Hi everyone. My friend Brian Paipon quit his corporate job to follow his passion. He um, started a movement which he called the Dream Project. The Dream Project aims to um, enable the dreams of uh, young Filipinos uh, from far-flung areas in the Philippines and um, to enable their personal dreams and for them to dream for their country. He shared this fascinating story which I will share with everyone. Um, there was a young boy who said that all he wanted is to have a pink house and everybody laughed. I mean, that's not me when I was a young boy. <laughs> Could have been me. But um, he later explained that the reason why is because his father was only able to step out of their province only once in his whole lifetime to visit a place called Baguio where he saw two Catholic nuns wearing pink habits. And I think they're called the Pink Sisters. So the father had brought this story back home which had enlightened his little kid. And I'm sharing this because um, stories like that has impact. Um, impactful visual imagery and fascinating stories, shared memories, these are all integral to who we are. Um, when, I was a, when I was a young boy, I was surrounded by a lot of beautiful art, and my father loved to cut out artworks from calendars, and he loved to take black and white portraits of us, which filled a lot of uh, our walls. And this little thing uh, inspired me to become a visual artist. It inspired me to become who I am now. And this artwork right here is called Pagagos, and uh, um, I was fortunate enough to uh, share this in New York in my first solo gallery show in 2013. So when I was seven years old, I asked my dad for a camera. And he gave me a, an Instamatic black camera with a red dot uh, button. And um, I will never forget that. Um, and I think I can say that I was the happiest seven-year-old boy at that time. So, I can say that I had an awesome childhood, and this is because of my dream enablers. We all have our own dream enablers. Um, my parents, teachers, friends, basically everyone who had enabled us to follow our dreams. Um, I think and I believe that we should all work with like-minded individuals and companies. And I would say that LG is one of them. Let's give LG a warm round of applause. Um, LG had enabled me to create um, a dream project of mine, which is to shoot um, students from my hometown um, in Kawit Cavite. Uh, the first time I had sh shot portraits using a phone, you know, I mean, gone were the days where you joke about getting your camera for a commercial shoot or a portrait shoot, it's now a reality. Um, 16 megapixels and you can sh shoot in RAW. Um, the photos and the portraits came out awesome. And it seems to me that I had actually used my DSLR. This artwork right here is called The Brotherhood of Man. Um, it was mentioned earlier that you had one in Korea. Um, and I'm sharing this because I had won this award because of a, a wonderful woman named Eddie Huang who believed in me. I didn't want to join this competition because I never thought I would win. But she kept on insisting that I should join. And so I had sent this image to Korea in 2013 and it had won first prize. So right now, thank you. Right now, I'd like to invite everyone to watch a project that
that I proudly did with, L with the LGG4. It's called See the Greatness in You. This photo and video project was shot entirely with the LG G4, the great. Every summer, my mom opens her home in Gawit, Cavite to kids who want to learn how to write, read better, and learn basic English and mathematics. During these sessions, they are provided with free meals and given personal needs like toothbrushes, toothpaste, extra clothes, and toys. During the graduation from my mother's summer program, each student receives their own set of school supplies. Many of these kids cannot afford it, which is why we collect supplies from friends and donors. I remember waking up for school excited with my new bag and colored paper covered notebooks. We want to help these kids be inspired to study well or even to go to school by giving them something to be excited about. Welcome to Kawikavite. This is my whole team. Hi guys. And uh, this is the Ginada Shrine. Here, after Yolanda, my team and I went to Tacloban, Cebu, Necros Occidental, and Palawan to give free family portraits. It was a very heartwarming experience knowing that we had created new memories for them. This time around, it's nice that I'm given the same opportunity to my hometown. I personally believe that you cannot have a complete Filipino home without photos on your walls or photo albums. Portraits are like immortalized energies. It tells us stories and memories that can inspire. You know what? I always say that in life, we only remember two things. The happy memories and the bad. Most especially in children. So I challenge everyone to be part of someone's happy memory. You can start at home.